What's up guys, it's Matt from Cornelius Creations. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a very effective tip you guys need to know. Now, when I first started carving, I would carve something up and it would look all right, but something was, it just wasn't right, something was missing. And I found out that my problem was in the finishing side of things. Now, we're not going over another just, you know, tutorial over power carving. This is on the finishing and post side of things after you're done with your project. But it's something every single one of us need to know. Who here has made a project before like I have and just your edges are just, they just look nasty. It's like, okay, that was all right. I'm, I'm semi-pleased with it, but it's just not, something's not there. Well, this video is for you. It's gonna help correct that. Now, this is very simple and I'm gonna ask something. I'm gonna run through this. It's gonna be a lot in a short period of time. And I ask you this, Stick with this video, watch it, and you've heard me say this before, but more things in life are caught rather than taught. I'm gonna teach you this, but I'm hoping just you really catch this, you know what I'm saying? So let's get started, and I'll show you what it is. Okay, by finishing, I mean this, sanding. And before you make a quick judgment, let me walk you through the process of sanding that I use that is gonna help you. Because if you were like me when I first started, I'd take a little piece and I'd just go all the way around and you know try to make things look nice, but no, no, just hold on, let me show you something right quick. Here is a piece I'm working on. This is a Celtic um, influence piece from a, um, a cross I found in Ireland. I just embellished the designs on it and stuff. And it is, to be honest, it's wearing me out. This is a lot of work. Now you can see some of the details and stuff I did in this. I've been sanding forever on this. I'm not done yet. I'm gonna show you the process of what I use to get things this clean. And I still have a lot of sanding to do. So after I make an initial cut, and I'm not turning this on right here, I'm just doing this to show you guys. Let's say this piece right here. I'm gonna go right along there and cut it out. Now I may come along with a burr like this, and if you watch my other videos, you can find this tutorial on other videos. I take a burr like this and I come in there and just kind of slightly angle it. You know, make a nice little clean cut. And after I'm done, you wanna get it as clean as you can. So sometimes I'll go to the right while I'm power carving and just like clean that up very lightly touching it. Then after that, I'm gonna take a piece of sandpaper and here's a trick I'm talking to you guys about. Now you need to go up in your grits. I'm gonna use a, I think this is around a 120 grit right here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just not gonna go just over like this. So you see this little crevice right here, I'm gonna get it right there and put that edge right in there and just sand it. Now my grain structure is actually running this way, so I'm sending across the grain, which isn't really, uh, you're not supposed to do that, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm gonna go across right there. See what I'm doing? And I'm gonna go up and down like this. And pretty soon I'm like cross hatching all my, all my um, sanding marks and stuff, and that is actually making it smooth. So next, let's say we go to a 220 grit and we're gonna do the same thing there, okay? We're covering up scratches with finer scratches. And pretty soon that just gets really smooth. Now I'm gonna give you guys a secret here. These edges right here are actually kind of rounded. They're not just flat sitting on there. You need to always sand the sides of it and, and, and curve your edges because if you don't, you're gonna see nasty jagged lines. Now I shouldn't have stippled this. I got ahead of myself. I'm gonna take this piece of sandpaper here and go along the edges like there's a rough edge right there. I'm probably gonna have to get in a new piece of sandpaper. This one's wore out. I'm gonna go right along there, and I think I just knocked the edge off. Good deal. This right here will just take the rough edges off right here if done correctly, and just go along like this. See what I'm doing? I'm just following the lines going around. Of course, this is kind of hard to do for the camera. And you see how the edge is just rounded there? Let dust off. Then you'll come through with a finer piece of sandpaper. Just go around. Now this is a big project. This is gonna be tedious. Now I'll probably already have two hours of sanding into this. I have a long ways to go and a lot of mistakes to cover up. But this right here, if you could see what this looked like before, it would just blow your mind. Like this right here, I haven't completely carved this out, but you can just see how nasty this looks. Now after I carve this out, my secret, sanding. Sanding is gonna make everything look so much better. So to recap here, Make your lines, wherever it's at. Imagine you're doing your own project, even if it was like an eagle or something like that. Do your lines, go through here with your sandpaper, make everything just nice and smooth. Follow up with another sandpaper, knock your, your harsh edges off. Make everything rounded, because it's gonna just really add to the effect of it. 
Thank you so much for watching, guys. I know this was simple, but if you really practice this, you're gonna get really good at it, and it's gonna turn your pieces around. My secret is in the sanding. All honesty, it really is. Try to get your edges as perfect as you can and as nice and smooth as you can, but then follow up with some sandpaper. It will make all the difference in the world. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So if you haven't subscribed already, just be sure to do that and turn your notifications on so you won't miss a video. And if you liked the video, you know what to do. And if you disliked it, you know what to do. So I will see you in the next video.